In my last video, I talked about disrespect and I gave you some insight on how to handle a situation when someone is actually disrespecting you. And in the video, I'd asked you guys if you wanted me to make a video on the different types of disrespect. And of course, everyone was like, yes, 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 please make a video so I know when someone is actually disrespecting me. Because sometimes it's not really that obvious. So in this video, I want to give you the signs that someone is disrespecting you. Before we do get into this week's video, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, you guys go click that subscribe button down below. I post two videos a week. We post shorts on here regarding so many different types of topics, mostly mental health, relationships, narcissistic abuse, codependency, really learning how to mentally and emotionally take care of yourself. So this is all the self-empowering to be frank, this is just the stuff that you should have learned growing up that most of us did not learn. Actually, I don't think anyone really ever fully learns this. And so this channel is all about you learning how to take the best care of yourself. So if you're interested in this type of content, definitely click down below and click on post notifications. So the first sign that someone is disrespecting you is probably the most obvious, and that's going to be verbal disrespect. This is when someone is using just offensive language, derogatory language, they are belittling you, they're giving you those insults. They might be constantly interrupting you and being a little condescending. This is when you're dealing with the angry outbursts, the swearing, the name calling, the shouting and the screaming, the laughing and even really mocking you. This could also be when someone just starts raising their voice to you and it starts to make you feel very uncomfortable. Now, a big sign, aside from just understanding this information, a big sign that you can tell when someone is disrespecting you is how you feel. So when you start to get very overwhelmed, when you start to feel those signs within your body that you're getting overstimulated or this is an uncomfortable situation or that didn't feel good, a big part of mental health is learning how to trust your intuition, how to have a really good relationship with yourself and start listening to your body when it's telling you that something feels off. The next one is going to be the nonverbal disrespect. This is really having more to do with body language, eyes rolling, sighing, making faces while you're talking, just those kind of things that people tend to do sometimes when you're having a conversation. You're really just dismissing and disregarding what someone is saying because Nine times out of 10, it's actually making you feel uncomfortable and you don't know how to deal with it. And so your defense mechanism is to give this kind of form of disrespect. So this is usually when a person will start to get upset because obviously someone's rolling their eyes or their body language is changing. And the person that's trying to communicate with this person is just disrespecting them and just has no interest in what they have to say because it, it basically shows off that I don't really care. And this is usually when an argument will start. And of course, the person that was doing the disrespective gesture didn't mean to actually hurt the person. They just were in a habit of doing this because they don't know how to take care of how they're feeling and not show those signs of disrespect. The next one is probably, I've done so many videos on this next one, disregarding your boundaries. When someone just completely disregards them, they disregard what you had to say, the, the boundaries that you, parameters that you put into place, they don't care about your privacy, about how you feel, none of that matters. They completely disregard them. That is a sign of disrespect. The funny thing with this, much like the nonverbal stuff, is again, this is a defense mechanism because I'm uncomfortable, because I'm not getting my way, because I want this, I'm going to do this. And by me doing this, I'm showing you signs of disrespect because it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter what you want. It's about what I want. The next thing is going to be dismissing how you feel. Now, this really will play in very dysfunctional relationships. When you disregard someone's experience, when you belittle them for what they think happened, when this is really when the gaslighting starts. So dismissing someone's feelings is a little bit of like an umbrella statement because it does have to do with some gaslighting, but it also has to do with not really listening. So if someone asks you a question and you just don't answer it, even though you did hear the person, which for me is actually one of my biggest pet peeves. And that's a sign of disrespect. 
taking a phone call when you're in the middle of a conversation, texting when you're in the middle of a date. Now, obviously, if you're if you have to answer the phone, if you have to send that text message, if something has to happen, that's a different situation, meaning you would communicate with that person like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I know this is so rude. I just have to take this. Give me one second. Just that communication. This is more about dismissiveness where I'm not going to tell you why I'm not answering you, why I'm answering this phone when you were in the middle of talking, while because I'm going to be texting while we're in the middle of a discussion or having lunch. I'm not going to communicate that with you. I'm just going to do whatever I want that makes me feel good. When a person does disrespect you and it's a pattern, there's a reason why this person is doing this. Usually it has to do with a lot of selfish tendencies or it usually has to do with the uncomfortableness that they're feeling that they don't know how to manage and so they try to put that on you. The next is, again, probably one of the obvious ones and this is the physical disrespect. This is where someone puts their hands on you, shoves you, hits you, any of those things. It could also be threatening someone with physical violence. It could also be bullying. It could also be trapping a person and intimidating them. It could be throwing objects around. It could be just shoving a person, like I said. So that type of physical disrespect definitely happens. And that has more to do, depending on which one it is, a lot of it has to do with, again, I can't control myself, I can't control my emotions, and so I'm going to have almost like this outburst and that's why I'm gonna throw something or I'm going to push you. If I'm doing things like the bullying and the intimidation and, and the threatening, that's more about control. That type of overbearing behavior that someone can put on you and that intimidation is about you folding and giving me what I want. Ignoring or neglecting someone is definitely a sign of disrespect. So ignoring someone is 100% me saying that you just don't even matter because you don't exist. Now remember, if you're dealing with someone who's very toxic, I, the first example that I can think of would be, let's say you have to go to a basketball game of your son or daughters and your ex is there and they just completely ignore you. All of that stems from how this person feels. It has to do with their own insecurities. It has to do with their own uncomfortable feelings that they're experiencing, whether they know it or not, and because they're not dealing with them and tending to them, they're going to ignore you. Now, the problem is all of these behaviors that someone will do to you, because sometimes we don't understand why someone's doing this, we just take it on, we take it personally, that it affects our self-esteem and how we feel about ourselves. That's when the behavior that this person is displaying to you, this disrespect, it's working because you're letting it affect you because you're not able to really see clearly of what's happening. So it's always going to be about what that person is feeling and experiencing and going through and has nothing to actually do with you. Another real obvious one is treating someone with disrespect regarding their sex, their gender, their race, their religion, those types of things. What you really want to learn when you're dealing with disrespect because you're going to deal with it. You're going to get it at some point in your life, multiple times throughout your life. And depending on where you are and how much you've worked on yourself, your age, like all of those things will determine how well you're going to be able to overcome what you're being faced with. That's why it's so, so important to work on yourself. Your, your inner self, your relationship with yourself, your mental health, this mind, all of this. This is why I'm so, so passionate about teaching you guys this stuff is because you have to learn how to take care of yourself. It's very easy to just stay in your own little bubble, of your own little happiness, once you actually cultivate that for yourself. And even that can be a little tricky if you haven't learned how to do that. And instead you're just expecting everyone else and everything to make you happy. But once you have really come to a great place within yourself and you're in this like little bubble of your own self and you feel great and you're taking care of yourself and life feels really good, it's the outside that's going to try to take you down. And if you don't know how to deal with that, it's going to win, it's going to take you down. And the last one that's probably one of the obvious ones is just the manipulation, the lying, the cheating, the not being, you know, just being dishonest in general. Of course, those are all signs of disrespect. So I hope you guys have a good arsenal of understanding what does it mean to be disrespectful. I think sometimes those ones that creep up on you are the little things that 
to be honest, are probably the things that are also triggering you. So that's why we say pay attention to your triggers, understand what your triggers are, because those are going to be the things that you're going to have to work on within yourself so you don't take on that disrespect and it influences how you feel about yourself. So hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.